And depending on where they are along that that journey or their, their um, in terms of fertility, that, that you have to custom tailor their treatments. We have a number of ways of improving testosterone levels effectively while also preserving fertility. So you don't have to you don't have to be on testosterone injections and deal with the the, the negative side effects down the road um, in order to improve improve your testosterone levels. Mm -hmm. And it's just temporary, right? Let's say you have low T you know you want to start a family you probably would benefit from some testosterone th testosterone therapy at some point you have your children and live that part of your life you can do testosterone later right For sure yeah, yeah. And listen, i mean if, if you're interested in doing testosterone earlier on that's fine but bank your sperm for example right mm -hmm. that's you know go, go to a sperm bank and bank your sperm i will tell you i would tell you like so they, they published this study probably within the last month or maybe it was um it was a few weeks ago actually um, talking about guys who are on testosterone placement therapy and their chances of recovery. Um, there was a previous study probably published sometime in the last 10 years that looked at this and all the guys had recovered, right? All the guys who were on testosterone replacement therapy uh, over time, over the course of four to six months, their sperm production recovered. A newer study was published on this where some guys didn't recover. Um, and it begs the question, were they ever producing sperm in the first place? Tough to tell, right? Tough to tell. Um, but to me, it's not worth the risk, right? If, if there's a chance that being on testosterone replacement therapy is going to kill your sperm production permanently, and I agree with you, to me, it's always been temporary, right? I've only, I can tell you anecdotally from my 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 clinical experience, I've only seen guys recover. But based on some of these studies, you know, you see some guys are unable to recover, so it's not worth the risk to me. Bank your sperm, right? Bank your sperm if you are going to jump on testosterone replacement therapy, and you'll always have the opportunity to to, to use that bank sperm for fertility. An interesting piece in some of these studies that come out showing recovery of spermatogenesis after discontinuing, it's like, well, sometimes it takes a couple years. And one of the factors is what how how um, low your testosterone was before you started therapy and how poor your spermatogenesis was before you started therapy. But then we see these guys and they never had a semen analysis before they started testosterone. So we just don't have that knowledge to be able to give them informed consent about what might happen. And I think that, I think that is a, a bit of a disservice. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, you know, letting them know and inform me about this is a, 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 a great importance. Right. Let's talk about lifestyle because I've often wondered, like we, we know all of these things like visceral adiposity or belly fat and being sedentary, that that can all affect testosterone. 